Today we're going to create a temperature converter app using MIT's App Inventor 2 software. Start by opening up a browser and going to appinventor.mit.edu. Click on the orange and white create button in the upper right hand corner. Log in with your Google account. If prompted, click allow and remember the approval. You'll see a couple welcome screens, just click continue. And we want to start a new project. Our project will be named Temperature Converter. Use Upper Camel Case and press OK. The first thing we want to do is set some of the properties for our screen. We want our line horizontal to be center, and we're going to give our screen the title of Fahrenheit to Celsius Converter. Just like before, we're going to arrange things on the screen using a series of horizontal arrangements in the Layout submenu. We're going to drag a horizontal arrangement onto the screen. And we're going to rename that Image Layout. Now we're going to set some properties. We want width to be fill parent, height to be 162 pixels, and both a line horizontal and a line vertical will have the values of center. Now we're going to download an image from my website. Go to static.colstock.com forward slash images forward slash thermometer dot png press enter right click on the image and choose save image as we're going to save this image to the app directory on our flash drive Once we've done that, let's find our screen. There we are. Now we're going to add an image from the user interface and drag that into the image layout box. Let's rename it to thermometer image. and let's set some properties. We've got to go get that image we just downloaded. Choose Upload File and find the file on your flash drive. Press OK. Now we want the width to be 128 pixels. Don't worry if the picture looks a little strange right now. On the device it looks great. Now we're going to grab another horizontal arrangement from our layout submenu. I'm going to rename it User Input Layout. Let's change some of the properties. Width should be Fill Parent. Height will be 36 pixels. Align Horizontal and Align Vertical should be centered.
let's grab a label and put it in there. We're going to call this Fahrenheit label. Let's set some of the properties. Font bold will be yes. The text on the label will be degrees in Fahrenheit. and text alignment should be center. Now we're going to grab a text box. We're going to rename this Fahrenheit text box. Time to set the properties. We're going to leave the hint blank numbers only is yes and we're going to specify a width of 60 pixels now we're going to grab a button We're going to rename this Convert Button. The text on the button is going to say Convert, the capital C. And we're going to make sure that the text alignment is centered. We've got one more layout to put on our screen. Drag it onto the screen and we will rename this Result Layout. Time to set the properties. Let's make sure the width and height are fill parent and a line horizontal is center. Okay, now we're going to grab a label. And we're going to rename this Celsius Label. Now it's time to set the properties. Font bold is yes. The text on the label will read degrees in Celsius. And let's make sure the text alignment is center. I'm going to grab one more label which will store the results of our conversion. We'll call this result label. Font bold is yes. Font size is 20. Let's leave the text blank and make sure text alignment is center. At this point, we can start adding our code. Click on blocks in the upper right hand corner. The first thing that we're going to need is we're going to need a global variable to store the value that the user enters the temperature that they want converted. So we're going to drag an initialize global variable block onto the screen. We're going to call the variable temp to convert because it is the temperature that the user wants us to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. We're going to initialize this to an empty string to nothing. The event we're working with today is whenever the convert button on the screen is clicked. So let's find convert button and find its win convert button click action. 
when the convert button is clicked, we want to do a couple things. The first thing, we want to set our global variable to whatever value the user has entered in the Fahrenheit text box. Let's go down to the Fahrenheit text box. Find where it says Fahrenheit text box text. Okay. We're going to want to do a conversion and after our conversion is over, we're going to set the result labels text. Go down to our result label, find its set result label text, and drag that into the block. When doing our temperature conversions, we want to return a number that uses one decimal place. So go to the math menu and find the block that says format as decimal number. Remember, we want to return conversions to one decimal place, just the tens value. Scroll up and find a number. We want to format our number with one decimal place. Next, we're going to do our formula. The formula for conversion from Fahrenheit to Celsius is pretty simple. The first thing we want is a subtraction block. Let's grab the variable that stores the temperature the user wants us to convert. Let's put that in one side of the block. Attempt to convert. The first thing we want to do is subtract that from 32 the number 32. The result of this will be multiplied by 5 divided by 9. So let's find the multiplication block and put this on the left side. Now we need a block that's going to allow us to divide 5 by 9. Back to math. Snap that in the other side. And now all we're missing is the number 5 and the number 9. Excellent. This is our formula. This is the number that will be formatted to one decimal place. So snap it above. That's all the code. Now it's time to build our application. Let's go back to the designer. And then we'll go to the build menu. Specify save APK to my computer. Once the application is built, we're going to transfer it to our class website, and that's how we'll install it on our Android device. Once downloaded, show the APK in folder and copy and paste it to the app directory on your flash drive. This is the easiest way to transfer it using FileZilla. Go to FileZilla, log in with your credentials, and drag the finished application to your class website. Now let's go to our Android device. Remember, we're going to access our application from our class website. As you can see, there it is. On the phone, open up a browser, go to the exact same URL, and click on Temperature Converter APK. It'll download that package. Click on it to install and follow the prompts.
Click open. Now it's time to test. You're going to enter the degrees in Fahrenheit that you want converted to Celsius. Let's try 98.6. There, it did the proper conversion. Let's try 32. That's the correct conversion as well. We can do some other tests. We can change the orientation. See how things work. There you go. Great job.